At the beginning of the new year, we often set resolutions to better ourselves, and the Kabbalah Center is offering a course that offers a way to help you realize those goals, which is great. We need that. And joining us today is student and mentor, Dr. Rachel Glick. And Rachel, you work with the Kabbalah Center. You've mm -hmm. been there for quite a I'm while. I'm a volunteer, yeah, about 14 years. 14 years. Mm -hmm. How long has the Kabbalah Center been here? In well, in St. Louis, the Kabbalah Center's been here since 2010. Okay. But we would study and we would rent places and study and have a study group. Okay, and then the, the interest and demand was so high, I guess you started this. Exactly. The center well, and bookstore. And exactly. So I started the studies before we were in St. Louis. It's an international organization. Yeah. So I would tra we would travel. Got it. Yeah, and then the, the Kabbalah Center is the mission of the center is to have the wisdom available to anybody who's interested. So when there's a desire, then that's what uh, created the opening for our center here. That's great. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's January, and mm -hmm. I personally love setting goals this time of year. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not alone right. <laughs> in Other that because do. your demand for this new class you have coming this month is really high. Yes. And it's on goal setting. It is. So tell us about that. Yes, so it, it's such a high um, response that the, I would recommend anybody who's interested in coming to go ahead and register. There is uh, probably going to be a waiting list, perhaps, and there was even talk of doing it two nights or another venue, but we're working it out to try to make everybody fit. If not, they'll be invited to do it another time. Okay. So, yeah. So, tell us, why is this class so popular, do you think? Well, I think in general, people are yearning for going deeper, for more spirituality, mm -hmm. and it's really uh, shifting. We're noticing it more and more. Why do you think that is? Do well, you have any idea? I mean, because I, I notice the same thing. Well, I, from what I've learned in studying Kabbalah is that ultimately it is not the things that um, we experience in the physical world that mm -hmm. are short-term or instant gratification or more on the surface that really lead to more fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And so as things are getting harder and harder in the world, it's sort of uh, an invitation and awakening more mm -hmm. to look for something deeper, to mm -hmm. not just the same old, same old. And So people are looking at their purpose, yes. their reason for being. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's really what the, uh, you know, according to the Kabbalah Center, the, the way they teach Kabbalah, it's a universal wisdom mm -hmm. that's open to anyone who has an interest in learning, no matter what the background or faith or anything is or age, and ultimately to learn more about what our purpose is and mm -hmm. like why we were created, what is the journey of the soul, mm -hmm. and um, what are the, like, just like there's physical laws what are what is how can you describe the spiritual laws mm -hmm. so what so the course the that's course. coming up yes. it's a one night one night event is that yes. right mm -hmm. okay so tell us about what's going to happen that evening so our teacher um, who comes to st louis quite a bit ariel viner is coming to st louis and he's going to talk about we're going he's going to go over the goals that you may have set for 2017 which ones did you do well with which mm -hmm. ones did you not and most importantly going inside yourself to see what was it that Perhaps you need to take a look at within yourself that could be the focus for what you could transform that may have blocked you from manifesting your goals so that you can set them for 2018 in a way to be much more likely to be successful. So what if somebody doesn't remember what goals they set? Not everybody's good at writing them down at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. well, so it, can you look back at the year and say, wh where were my blocks? Um, where did I not... Mm -hmm perhaps achieve at my full potential, is that something that would be? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, it can be sort of a vague sense. It's not necessarily bringing your list in, mm -hmm. but he'll probably have us, you know, he's really good at helping you um, reflect and making it very comfortable and going in and seeing perhaps what is it that you were hoping to achieve mm -hmm. and, where, and, and what worked and what didn't work and helping to explain that we have two parts of us. We have an ego voice and we have another one that can be called an opponent or the kind of negative voice in the head or the lim more limited part of us, and that's often what stops us from reaching where we want to go. Okay. Um, we're going to take a quick break, but okay, before great. we go to break, where, what is the date and time of the course? It's January 23rd, this coming Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the Kabbalah Center and Bookstore in downtown Clayton. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. So stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with Rachel Glick and the Kabbalah Center after this break.